In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about that Linux shell scripting is a way to make things automated so you don't have to repeatedly enter the same set of commands into the ter terminal. Um, it just makes things more streamlined so you have all the commands to do a particular task in a one file to, and all you have to do is just enter that name of the shell script and then everything gets executed automatically. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, first of all, you want to make a file called myshell.sh. You can name it whatever you want. And the first line, you want to put what is called a shebang, and that's indicated by this. This basically tells the terminal what type of um, interpreter to use to execute your shell script. Next, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about. Uh, uh, comments and say uh, this is a comment. Now comments are something that is not read by the interpreter. It is just for your documentation to tell you what's going on in your script. Okay, next we're going to talk about variables. Variable 1 is equal to hello world. That contains a simple message. Variables are not ex uh, are not only exclusive to strings; they can also be numbers. And notice that there is no space between uh, variable and the value stored in a variable. That's important. Next, we're going to print out values to the string to the um, screen and say variable one and then also we can do something like this and notice how I put the uh, dollar sign in front of the variable uh, whenever you want to use a variable you must have this dollar sign in front of it as well um, over here you want to have the name of the variable uh, with the dollar sign preceding it. Um, here this basically is going to have this variable um, this value contained in the strings in the string um, and there's a difference between double quotes and single quotes and as you can see here I'll also make uh, an example and say Okay, so let's actually run this and see what's going on. Well, to run it, you'll see here you have your shell file that we created using any text editor. And then what you want to do is go to change mod plus x and then name of your file, which is myshell.sh. All this does is makes it green, which means that that file is now an executable file. And you can run this executable file as a program by doing dot forward slash my shell dot sh and boom you have a program that's working and this like as you can see here it prints out the value of variable one as hello world it prints out also the line two um, this is a value of variable two and containing twenty one and the value is 21 and at the same time we, I showed you the difference between single quotes and double quotes as you can see here while in the double quotes one the actual value of variable 1 is printed out while in the second one in single quotes you don't get the actual value printed everything is treated as a literal meaning that whatever you type in there will show up to the screen as you typed it Whereas in double quotes, whatever you typed into that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to appear like that on the screen. Where if you proceed things with a dollar sign and they are va a variable, that value will, will be printed to the screen. Okay, well, join me in the next tutorial and I'll talk about if statements, uh, for loops, and passing parameters to your program. Okay, I'll see you till then. 
Uh, remember to subscribe and rate this video. Thank you.